Peace. Islam family. It's your brother Ku. Islam, happy holy day. Um, it's lying my fig and my vine tree back there. You feel me? This is a beautiful holy day, man. Um, so today's particular video, I want to talk about true religion. <clears throat> when I say true religion, I'm talking about the religion that people believe is real, but it really is not. And, you know, a lot of people don't even know that there's a religion in terms of um, religion in terms of dealing with law and then there's religion in terms of private religion amongst people. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with your creed, your, your habits, your traditions, your customs, your culture, etc. When it comes to, and y'all could look this up as I'm saying this, y'all could look up religion in the Black's Law Dictionary. And what you'll find is plied with the deed of trust. Plied, think about think about the word apply, supply. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let me reply. Ply means to wield, to work, to manipulate. Various synonyms. So plied with the deed of trust is what religion means according to law. So therefore, when you're talking about religion in law, you're talking about trust in law. Ain't that beautiful? So you're talking about deed of trust. And a deed of trust also known as the trust indenture. So when we're claiming our nationality, you know what I'm saying, our title and our religion. So now I made a video uh, like two weeks back, two or three weeks back talking about true Moors have trust in place. It's funny how it comes comes back around in a circle. So if you are a Moor, you should have a trust in place. If you don't have a trust in place, you are not practicing religion. You're not living it. You're not applying it. You're just purely in the dogma. Straight up and down. Don't feel bad about it. We've all been got. But the thing now is now that you know better, you can start to make the changes. The necessary changes that come along with that. So, now, you understand, I'm, I'm a biggie on trust law. Man, I'm a biggie on trust law. I'm so happy I chose the path I chose because it was the right path all the way through, even talking about a religion. So now I know when it comes to law, and you're talking about religion, you're talking about a deed of trust. So when someone says, what's your religion? What they're really asking you in law is, do you have a trust? If you don't have a trust, you're not practicing religion. All right. So now you understand when I talk about nationality and trust. Now you understand what the prophet did when he created the Moorish Science Temple of America as an ecclesiastical body politic in the form of a trust. The prophet was dealing with religion, y'all. <laughs> the prophet was dealing with true religion. True religion. So now that we comprehend that you know what i'm saying it's crucial now now when you talk about all right religion religious corporation act which is what the more science temple of america is it's a, it's a religious corporation okay but it operates that way due to the fact that there's a deed of trust and that deed of trust okay that deed of trust you can find it in the um historical um, historical leaders message um, message to America alright that's one document from Prophet Jirali you can read the more science temple of America circle 7 Quran the circle 7 Quran is also part of the trust indenture um, the filing for the more science temple of America which was filed at Cook County right in, Chicago, in uh, Illinois filing number 1010 5905, which is the number for the trust. 10105905. Religion. So you see, if Prophet, and it's crazy because when you really look at Prophet Drew Ali, he really is the only prophet that truly brought us back religion. Real religion. Not the type of religion when you're stuck and you have to live by a creed or you have to do these 
rituals or else you're not that. No, 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 no. That's not religion. That's called a, a club, okay? That's not religion. Because religion is dealing with, true religion is dealing with your bloodline. Because when we're declaring our nationality, that is what you would call a baptism. If I was going to take it into that realm of the uh, Nicene Constantino Palantino Creed, if I was going to attach those two together, you see what I'm saying? That's how they're operating. That's the form and fashion that, you know what I'm saying, is applied. Because we fail to see it. We fail to see it. You see what I'm saying? So the prophet brought us true religion. And he left it and he left us the religion in the form of a trust. Right? Because there is a deed of trust. There is a deed of trust on file. So what that tells me is that the prophet was a genius. And this is why there will not be another prophet like him. Because if you ask me, he's the only person who's talking about creating a trust. Who made a trust so that we can find ourselves out of the shithole called the United States Corporation Company and come back home. I don't see no other prophet that did that. And that's why I will happily call that man a prophet. I don't care what he did in his private life, but when it comes to helping the people, his people, he did his thing. He did his thing. He brought us back what's ours. You know what I'm saying? The cherry tree is live and in full effect. All right? The cherry tree ain't chopped down no more. It's back up and standing tall like a rock. All right? So with that understanding, understanding and overstanding <sighs> now let's talk about the deed of trust the deed of trust and the deed of trust because the deed of trust or the trust indenture or articles of or articles of organization or declaration of trust or deed it can be many names it depends on what are you referencing to because in your indenture you can create what words and things mean See what I'm saying? So if you can create what words and things mean, then you essentially have all the power because you control the language. First was the word. Word was God. Word was with God. So if you can control how to structure your trust indenture, then you have an unlimited amount of ability to create law, to secure yourself in a way where you can never be fucked over by foreigners because your law is in place. It's tight. And this is what religion is about. I don't see you. Man, go to church on Sunday. All right? If you watch this video and you're still going to church, when you go to church on Sunday, please come back to this video, hit the comment box, and let me know if the pastor's sermon was about trust or if the pastor was talking about trust law or deed of trust. Because that's religion. Religion according to law goes hand in hand with a deed of trust so if you ain't got a trust in place what religion are you really talking about what religion are you really talking about because that's true religion true religion is when you have a trust in place also known as an unincorporated business trust when you are doing your commerce as yourself flying your flag being ab being a talk ton, original to the land, being more, not less. All right, you know what I'm saying? And according to me and my knowledge, this flag hasn't been flown, not like this for a very long time. I haven't walked across a house where I saw a Moore's flag flying. So I can tell you right now, I feel very vigorated. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm here now. You know what I mean? I'm under my flag. And it feels good. Because when I go around, all I see is uh, United States batters. That's all I see. All I see is United States war banners. War banners. I came across a few houses. I saw um, Canadian flag being, you know, being flown. I also grew up 
around a lot of Jewish people in Far Rockaway, New York, Queens. So, you know, I saw a lot of houses with the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Star of David. But regardless of the fact, it shows and proves that everyone is flying their flag. And you got to fly your flag high and you got to fly it proud. Because if you don't, you're going to be lost. If you don't, you're going to be lost. You know what I'm talking about? So it's extremely, extremely, extremely important to come back to true religion, y'all. And the true religion is what's going to make you free because we haven't had religion for a very, very long time. And that, when I say religion, I'm not talking about a, a books. I'm not talking about Bibles and Korans and things like that. I'm talking about the original book. You, the temple, the library. You're a walking, talking library. So when you realign yourself, right, which is what religion means, etym etymologically, it means to, to tie back, bind to, realign, or come back to light all right so that's the religion i'm talking to coming back to your senses coming back to the light coming back to you realigning you with you realigning you on the inside with you on with you on the outside that's religion and then protecting that realignment in the form of an in the form of a trust all right utilizing a deed of trust religion Okay, so religion is not what we've been made to think it is. And the more I keep studying, the more and more I uncover, and I realize that it really is not what is presented to uh, the rest of the U.S. citizens here. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't get they don't get real religion. They get dogma. They don't get real money. They get uh, fiat, Federal Reserve notes. You know what I'm saying? They don't get real. Uh, they don't get real education. They get indoctrinated. Because if you really understood that you are a library, then you'd realize all you got to do is read yourself. Read yourself and you'll see everything outside you start flowing. The things that are inside will start coming to you internally. I want to know about nationality. Externally, nationality is going to come and find you because internally, internally, you done put on the beacon light. The beacon light is on, it's flickering. Woo, 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 woo. It's like you know you're signaling the ancestors. Woo, woo. I'm ready. Come scoop me. I'm ready. Come scoop me. Let's get this work. Let's get this information. Let's go tap into these Akashic records, right? But if you're still under the context thinking like a 14th Amendment citizen, that religion is just oh God, it's God Creator. If I do if I do wrong here, if I don't get saved, I'm going to hell. You're gonna be in. <laughs> A lot of people don't know. Yeah, yeah, this is hell right now. Do y'all understand that uh, martial law is in place? Martial law has been in place, y'all, since Lincoln was in office. All right, martial law came into place in eighteen in eighteen sixty one, April twelfth, eighteen sixty one, if I want to be exact. Which was what when the Civil War started. And then prior to that, Congress, right, the United States of America and Congress assemble adjourned Sina Dea without day on March 27th, 1861. So you got March, you adjourn Sina Dea. In April, the Civil War breaks out. Okay? The Civil War breaks out publicly in 1861, April 12th. If y'all don't realize, Lincoln was elected into office as president of the United States Service Company in 1861. I don't know the exact date, but 1861 to 1865. Okay, so Lincoln's uh, Lincoln's role in office began when the Civil War began. There's no coincidence to that. So when the Civil War began. Martial law went into place, codified as the Lieber Code. I find it so fitting that it's called the Lieber Code. And, you know, my zodiac sign is I'm a Libra, October 19th. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Libra. So I'm all about my art, law, fairness, justice, equality, 
having an equal playing field for everyone. I don't like injustice. I don't like unfairness and I don't like to see my people suffer. Just for the fact that they don't know something. That hurts me. I don't like that shit. That's why I go so hard in the paint about bringing out this information because I want to see all y'all lift yourselves up. I'm going to say that one more time. I want to see all of y'all lift yourselves up. I don't want to lift you up because I'm lifting myself up. But I want to I want to see y'all lift yourselves up. So that's why I brought the religion to you. All right. So get back to work on your deed of trust. You're living the religion. I'm your brother. Peace. Islam.